Okay guys, in the next couple of videos we're going to be looking at how to differentiate different types of functions than polynomials. And we're going to be starting off with the exponential function y equals e to the power of x. Now this is a very special function because it differentiates to give itself. Okay, in a way that's really what defines e to the power of x. It differentiates to give itself. However, we're interested in differentiating slightly more complicated functions for example, y equals e to the x squared. In other words, we want to be able to differentiate when we've got a function here as the power of e. Now, the way in which we do this is we say, okay, the basic function remains unchanged, so we've still got e to the power of x squared, but then we take that power, in this case x squared, we differentiate it to give us 2x, and we multiply through. Okay, so in other words, we take the power and we differentiate it and we multiply through. So let's try another one. Let's say we've got y is equal to e to the power of x to the five. How would that differentiate? Well, we've still got e to the power of x to the five. Then we differentiate that power, which gives us five x to the power of four, and we multiply through. Let's try some slightly more complicated examples. Let's say we've got e to the power of 3x squared minus 2x. Okay, as I said before, the basic function remains unchanged. So we're still going to have an e to the power of 3x squared minus 2x. But then if we differentiate the power, what we're going to get is 6x minus 2. Now here, I want you to notice that what I've done is I've put everything in a bracket, right? Because if I had written this thing instead, 6x minus 2e to the power of 3x squared minus 2x, then what that means is I've just got the 2 multiplied by the exponential, not the 6x. So I've got to remember to include brackets there. All right, let's try a couple more slightly more uh, complex examples before we close. Let's say we've got y is equal to e to the power of the square root of x. Well, before we differentiate this, it's helpful to rewrite the power as x to the power of a half. And if that's the case, then we can just differentiate this the normal way. We're going to differentiate it. We will get e to the power of x to the power of a half. And if we differentiate x to the power of a half, we get a half x to the power of minus a half. And so if we simplify all of this, this is a half times by 1 upon the square root of x, because that's x to the power of negative a half, and then e to the power of the square root of x, because that's what x to the power of a half means. Okay, last example. Let's say we have y equals e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus 2x, all divided through by 3. The best thing to do here is to uh, rewrite this as a third e to the power of x plus a third e to the power of minus 2x. And then we differentiate those two elements there. So we differentiate e to the x, we just get e to the x. And if we differentiate e to the minus 2x, well remember, we've got to differentiate the power, which gives us negative 2. And so we're going to get negative 2 e to the minus 2x. So if we, sorry, that should be a third there. So if we simplify all of this, we'll get a third e to the x minus two thirds e to the minus two x. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you again in the next video.